uh, on Tariendo Pass. But I want to just, the Tariendo Pass is like uh, probably the quickest pass you can do, which is kind of just running around their legs. So you can try to go through the legs, under the legs, but the quickest is going around. Uh, so I just want to warm up with some uh, grip fighting stuff that I think is important for getting the Tariendo. So, uh, Often you'll set this up when someone's playing like a, an open guard, whether it's a spider guard, so we can work with that today, um, just to warm up. And we'll do it without him holding the grips, just to get used to the, the motion we need to do. Uh, I need to make sure I control the grips before I turn around. So if, if Craig's foot's in my bicep like that, when I try to run around, I can't clear, okay? So I need to make sure I've got the inside space here, like this, okay? Uh, so we've Basically, just for a drill, for a warm-up drill, Craig's going to try to keep both feet on my biceps, and I'm just going to keep uh, circling my hands in. So, just kind of off track. Craig's just tracking my biceps as I move, like this. And as you feel it, I want you to drop your hand inside, circle, and come out, like that, okay? It's actually quite good, initially, if you can actually just hold the shin, like this. Now, if I hold the shin, try and put your foot back in, Craig. Yeah, and I'm putting like a pressure not directly at him. This is where I think a lot of people go wrong. See, when I push at him, he gets his foot back in. I'm pushing his shin a little bit laterally, like that. That's, first of all, it's hard work. Just try to keep that there. And it's hard for him to circle back through. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Same thing on the other side. So my aim is to kind of get this. Craig's aim is to try and get his feet back in. So we just want to keep, you know, don't hold it for too long. If you get those controls, we're just going here, here. I'm going to pressure him, okay? We'll work some passes off this position. Uh, but as I said, make sure you're pushing their legs apart and it's on the shin, not the knee. Again, knee doesn't hold his feet in place. Shin. And pushing outwards. I don't know if you can see that. Put your weight into it too. Alright, so let's do that. First on bottom, just tracking. Go two minutes on the bottom, two minutes on top. My posture, just leaning. Yeah, so I kind of try to sort of put a little bit of pressure onto them so when they're pushing back, it makes it easier for me to circle in and get my grips. Okay, if I'm too far back, often they, they get too much hip movement. I want to sort of slow their hips down by leaning into them. And I can start to get my grips. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. Get into a pass now. So we're here. I managed to get these grips here like this. Uh, you can grab the, especially in the gear, you can grab the, the pants and put the same pressure uh, like this. Um, Usually, from here, like Craig's going to start working to, to get his feet back. And if he stays really square, it's kind of hard, but when he moves his hips a little bit, like, it's going to be easier, okay? But I can use that same hip movement to, to secure a pass too. So, over here, I managed to get in here and here, and I've got my pressure outwards like that. Make sure your foot's not, like, I like to step one leg forward, but if I wanted to do Toriando, I wouldn't step here. So I grab that leg. And then you got to deal with that. Okay, so just keep it like just out of reach. All right. Uh, as soon as I feel Craig wants to move his hips, I'm gonna move with him. And I change the pressure. Like it always just stays pushing out, but regardless of where we go. If I can just give an example, like whether he goes this way or the other way, like I'm always pressing out and and out with both legs wherever we go, like this. And then you'll see what can happen here when I get a good enough angle. I'm now just going to punch away with the bottom hand and drive my shoulder in. Like this. Once we're there, we're pretty much ready to secure the pass. Okay, so we're here, like this, Craig's trying to get his feet back. Turn and punch. Uh, it's important here too, like try and punch their far leg away. They're going to be trying to recover this leg in front of you and push. If that knee gets in front, it can be hard to pass, so if I can keep this arm straight out here, it's going to limit his mobility a bit more. Alright, I'll show you how to secure the pass in a sec. But let's just say we're fighting for grips. Come inside, inside, get both sleeves turned, drop your sh uh, shoulder in down near their stomach, like so. I want you to walk your feet underneath the hips, like this. So I'm trying to connect my left uh, knee to the hip here. Uh, step under his hips. Why? This is going to make it harder for him to hip away from me when he tries to recover his guards. Because I have to let go of his legs at some point. As soon as I let go, Craig's going to move and trying to recover his guard. 
So I want to make that space as small as possible. You'll feel like you want to pass like here and then just try to go like that. If I'm not controlling the hips, it's going to be really hard. Yeah? Especially on Craig. <laughs> okay, so we're here. Come in close to the hips. And I want you to walk behind, so I'm pretty much in line with Craig here. Left knee against the hip here. I bury my shoulder and my head on my right hand. I'm going to block the near hip like that. Ideally with my elbow. Try and hip escape now, Craig. So I'm pulling tight and pinching with my elbow on my knee to stop his hip movement. From here, I'm going to reach my left hand underneath, grab the back of the collar, and I put my head next to his shoulder. Usually people will start like sitting up and trying to like, uh, you know, like, like go like this to try to scoot the hips back and, and gain some control. So I use my head to keep that shoulder down. Okay, from there, I can pass around, stay tight on the hips and hold. So we're here, like this, circle in, get your grips. When you're ready, let's go. Get the Torando, shoulder in nice and tight to the stomach. Come on up to the hips. Use your elbow to block the hip escape. Underneath, grab the back of the collar. If they're trying to sit up, use your shoulder to keep them down. This is not just this, like this slight difference in where you're putting your grips is not just for Torianders. If you're passing the guard, you're in half guard, whatever, I'm always pushing like that, not like this. I never want his foot like making distance on me. I always want to circle in, keep that leg away. Pass a lot from, from holding the grip like that. So make sure you make sure if you take anything away from this, this is probably the main thing I want is getting your grips right. I'm putting the right pressure. Uh, so, uh, we'll do the same thing, we get to the position here like this, sometimes, so this one that I just did is assuming I can like open up, like I've turned the corner and I've punched this leg open and hopefully Craig's leg goes with me. Maybe he, like this is really good if they're trying to catch a half guard or something, so they can't reach for your foot, but you kind of cleared it and you get in. But sometimes people will be really adamant to keep their knees close to their chest, which actually makes them really hard to pass. If you think about it, I'm trying to get into this gap here, and if they keep their knees really tight, it's hard to get into that gap. So I'm going to change it up uh, a little bit. Actually, one thing I want to make clear before that actually is uh, another detail with this. So I'll do the last pass. I go here, and I get here. All right, just so you can see, uh, hip escape, Craig. Okay, go again. Wait, sorry. <coughs> Have a look at what he's hip escaping with. It's his left foot. Move your foot out wider, Craig, and make a big hip escape. See how far he moves there? Hip escape. See that? So the direction I push his leg makes a big difference. When I pass with the Toriando, if I go here and I push that way, I'm giving him a big hip escape. So I'm not trying to push his leg straight out to here to hit the mat. When, he, when his foot goes there, his hip moves really far. When I pass, I punch it away. Hip escape. Yeah. You see the difference if I'm on my back and I can go like my leg straight so I can go so far I move. If I punch their leg out, they go and now they're back into a full recovery. So when you turn the corner, punch back. All right, uh, let's go. Next scenario, so Craig keeps his legs nice and tight. This time, uh, when I go to go around, I feel that I'm not going to be able to punch that. So all I want to do is stop Craig from getting his bottom leg back in front of my hip. If I can beat that by just stepping like this, I want to kind of bring my knee in and my hip just past his foot. So when he tries to recover here, that bottom leg's not keeping 
Okay, I'm still going to worry about this, this top leg. Okay, but that's where we're going to start to extend it. So now, so if I can see, I'm here, I squat in, I got my hip against Craig's sort of hamstring, my knee's here. I'm going to turn my knee out and then punch the leg again. If I can punch back, it's going to be better. You might have to start out a little bit lateral, but when you finish, I want to punch him back. Here like this. And you're here. As soon as your knee, so you're basically coming to knee on belly. Yeah? As soon as you're here, you're reaching for the head and you're starting to consolidate the pass. If you're going to pass the knee right, you just need to eventually just block the hip. Make sure it's more me moving than, than Craig here. I just step so I beat that. My, I'm nice and low, and then when I punch, my knee turns out to go to mirror. Like now I don't want him to hip escape, so I'm starting to pull his leg. If anything, back towards him. Put him on the mat. Don't let him put their foot on the mat. Grab, pull in, consolidate the hips. Now, hard for him to hip escape. Finish inside control. Pull him right. Wherever you want. All right. Let's have a go at that. Three, two, one. Uh, try to figure out when I actually use this. So. <laughs> uh, sometimes I'll be going for the Toriando. It might be that Craig, like I've, I've tried to, I've tried to push that leg away, but he might have just got a good enough angle that the leg's starting to come in. If he's grabbing my arm, I can't do this. Like if he's got a proper spider guard, but often, often, like he'll be fighting and you're just kind of ready to go here like this. If that foot comes back in. It's going to be to my detriment to sort of dry, try and drive through that, like so. You can see how it's on my shoulder, here like this. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm basically just going to like, he's going to be trying to push me away with it, and I'm just going to go with that and turn, like so. So now I'm just punching, I've let go of that arm, and I'm just punching my right hand out. I'm not in a great spot yet, because uh, I'm on this side of Craig's body. So I'm just going to keep shoulder pressure, Keep facing like uh, so. I'm gonna face towards the legs. Keep facing the legs as I run behind his head and end up in side control. So but here, like so, I go here, but Craig gets that that arm in. You're still okay to to work for this. So try and drive your shoulder in and like right shoulder forward, left back, and just keep that leg. This is gonna save you a bit because they're gonna be trying to push and move. You can keep that arm, like holding that leg to smooth your hips and everything, Craig. It does make it quite hard. And you can still with your other hand. Can you still do that if you have a spider grip with the right hand? Yes. This one? The right hand? No. Because it'll be hard to, like if he holds the spider grip, when I turn my shoulders, I don't beat that. So how yeah. do you avoid that foot? Well, because I'll probably get either have circled in and then I've gone for it, but usually it's once I've gone for the Toriander, but he's, he's gone to here, yeah? So he's starting to, starting to push me away. Just all the way around. One more time. We're here. That leg comes in. Rotate your shoulders. Punch. Just make sure you don't land too shallow, okay? So you'll totally stuff it up if you go like this. If he gets it in and you go... Now I'm going to try to run around, but I can't get over the top of him. He's going to, like, I don't know what's happening. So just make sure, make sure your shoulder lands on them. If they're blocking with their hands, like that, that's fine. Just keep the pressure and kind of run around anyway. Even if they stay on your shoulder, just make sure it doesn't, they don't force you down onto that side. All right. There we go, three minutes each. Then we'll do some light specific training from there. Then some harder specific training from the rock. Three, two, one.